Alright guys, welcome back. Sharby here, part 3, Final Fantasy X 2 HD Remaster. I just finished going through the Foggy Fiend Frenzy. We've got a bit of a long scene to watch here, or a series of scenes I should say. So I figured I might as well start a new video for this. This is Youth League Headquarters. The Youth League was formed a year ago by people who opposed New Yevon. Its members claim that in the hands of New Yevon, Spira would only repeat its past mistakes. Their leader is a former crusader named Nuge. Apparently he earned quite a reputation among the crusaders. Okay, first things first, it took me a long time to realize that there was a, a little pathway over here. Sleep in bio, that's not bad. So, last video I kind of mentioned my Final Fantasies uh, completions and incompletions and how I feel about some of them. It's been too long, Lady Yuna. I am Lucille, commander of the Youth League forces. It's good to see you. Hiya! I am glad to find you well. As you can see, I have joined the Youth League to aid in the fight for a new Spira. I consider it my duty. Maven Nuge, our leader, has been hoping for an audience with my lady for some time. Unfortunately, he is planning a mission of great import and will be occupied well into the night. I am terribly sorry, but I must ask that you return another day. Oh, it's no trouble. My apologies. The Youth League's looking for spheres too, right? Yes, knowledge of the past is the key to the future, so says the Maven. It is with these words in mind that we seek the spheres of yore. The mission we are planning also revolves around a sphere, but... I am sorry. I had best say no more. It is not a matter to be discussed openly. No, I suppose not. My apologies. There sure do seem to be a lot of weirdos around here. The Youth League is a motley bunch. Some members certainly have, uh, questionable pasts. Just the other day, a very valuable sphere was stolen almost as soon as we discovered it. The Thief League? <laughs> no. No, few here would go that far. Most of us are very devoted. We work hard with Maven Nuge towards our goal of building a new Spira. But the Maven insists that none be turned away, and so the occasional bad seed does slip through. Unfortunately. But I can think of nothing more heartening than were the Lady Yuna to join our cause. That would do the League much good. I'm very sorry. So we gotta wait for the old guy to come through and walk up to Lucille. He's already there. Okay. Why, Lady Yuna, I believe it's been fully two years. This calls for a celebration. Perhaps you'd like to hear a story. He's passed to Okay, so I pretty much just put my controller down at this point and listened, so... With sin defeated and the Joy. terrible the story. exposed for all to see, it is safe to say Spira was in a state of upheaval. But it is precisely times such as these that often inspire the greatest good. For you see, out of the chaos arose a desire to forge Spira anew. 
And from this noble desire was born a search for truth, championed by people called the Seekers. The Seekers sought out and attempted to set right Spira's history, long concealed and warped by the temples. They looked for lessons in that history, lessons to lead Spira into a new age. <sighs> the Seekers scoured Spira for ancient spheres hidden in nooks and crannies over the ages. They studied the images recorded in those spheres, for they hoped to find within clues to the true nature of Spira's past. Over time, the search for spheres grew quite popular. Some even pursued it as a profession. They, of course, are the sphere hunters. The good, the bad, and the ugly. To be sure, the majority are interested only in the excitement and adventure of it all. But it is doubtful they comprehend the gravity of the search for truth. Very doubtful. Um, doubtful? Doubtful indeed. <laughs> Where was I? The founder of the Seekers was a man by the name of Tremor. Before the fall of Sin, Tremor had been a priest in the orders of the Evan. With the Seekers, he had the perfect means of revitalizing Spira. Or so one would have thought. But then... Just one short year ago, Tremor founded yet another organization, the New Yevon Party. It was all quite sudden. He took the many spheres collected by the Seekers and hoarded them all to himself. Naturally, this angered those who had hoped to use the spheres as a key to unlock Spira's past. What awoke in Tremor's heart that drove him to do this, none can say, save Tremor himself. I should very much like to ask him. But sadly, he has vanished. New Yevon would not release its fears. Yet, surprisingly, a great number of people rallied to its cause. Their motto was, one thing at a time. It worked to great effect. It played on people's fears of the rapid changes sweeping over Spira. It gave them something to cling to. But there were others who still harbored ill will toward the name of Yevon. And the man who united them? It was none other than Nuge, the maven, that is, leader of the Youth League. Nuj was a member of the Crusaders. He is a powerful man, once renowned for his fearlessness in battle. His interest in history led him to devote himself to the Seeker's cause. With them, he worked to collect spheres, but in the end, New Yevon would share them with no one. Repulsed by what New Yevon had done, Nuj gathered like-minded people and formed the Youth League. Drawing its support, mainly from Spira's younger generation, the League soon matched New Yevon in size. As the organization grew, so did the responsibilities of its leader. I came here hoping to speak with Maven Nuj, but he is busy in meetings, and I was turned away at the door. Hmm. Pity. Looking at all the young people gathered here to take part in the League's endeavors, I must say, I'm quite envious. So much energy, so much time. While I, on the other hand, have grown weary with the passing of many years. I travel Spira, gathering knowledge, only to have it slip my mind a moment later. And just between you and me, I don't even remember how old I am. Oh, might I ask you one small favor? What is it? I'd like to shake your hand, if it's not too much trouble. To touch just once the hand that defeated Sin and saved all Spira. 
Oh, thank you. Now this old scholar can go in peace. Don't say that. Your hand. Is something wrong? No, no, it is nothing. Lady Yuna, you have my thanks. So if you rush him at any point in that, you lose the percentage points for it. Hence why I literally just put the controller down, walked away from the microphone. Screw it, we're good. Okay, so we're back on the airship. Let's see where we can go now. I'm gonna save the hotspots for last. I'm pretty much gonna do that every video. Uh, with the exception of chapter three, I'll do the first two and then we'll we'll figure out. Actually, you know what? I'll probably save them till the end too. Actually, uh, this I did. This I did. This is done. This is done. Wado Salam, Thunder Plains. Guado Salam, home of the Guado. You remember, right? But the Guado are no longer here. Some people think they deserved all that happened for what they did to Spira. They have a point, but it seems like such a sad way to look at things. Two things you have to do for percentage are walk in and that then walk up the to the fire plane. With their memory of the dead. I've thought about going in so many times, hoping that I might see you there, but I never have. I think I probably never will. So that is all of that. Thunder Plains is the same thing, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I have to go find anybody until Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. <laughs> Guess what? Riku finally overcame her fear of thunder. Know how? She said she camped out here for a week. <laughs> Just going to head back. So I'm just now realizing there's actually a mission in Makalania as well. Go to Bavel and Mount Gag is at first, so I just kind of get the percentage points from here. Bavel remains at the heart of Spira, even today. It's also the place where I was born. 
I suppose that makes it my hometown, but I can't say that I have a lot of fond memories here. I will say is I do like that uh, even though they reused a lot of maps obviously from the original Final Fantasy X when they added some stuff it was actually pretty interesting like being able to come through here to another area of Bethel because in 10 you can't uh, you can't walk through that door there all you get is the high bridge and then whatever cutscenes they give you Summoner, I see you finally decided to join New Yevon. You do us much honor, my lady. Lord Braska, may he rest in peace, would be proud. I will summon the Praetor immediately. I beg your leave. Pushy, isn't he? We should leave. Hey, what's the matter, Uni? Well, you see, there was this arrangement, um, with the son of the chairman of New Yevon. I turned the offer down, but I thought it'd be kind of awkward. Yuna? Hmm? You're probably right. Let's go. Huh? No, wait! Uh, wait! Uh, hey! Oh! Huh. Pleasure, Lady Yuna. I am Barilai, Praetor of New Yevon. So, you're the Chairman's son? Ah, as it happens, the Chairman has recently resigned. As did his son, the Praetor. They were trying to take too much power. We had to ask them to leave. Now the younger members run the party. By mutual consensus, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. So you see, Lady Yuna, it is not I that was meant to marry the High Summoner. Not that we wouldn't appreciate your support. On the contrary, you'd be most welcome. I understand if your feelings toward Yevon are mixed. But I would hope that you could put that aside and join our cause. The world is changing, and there are many who are finding it difficult to keep up. New Yevon wishes to help those who feel lost in the winds of change. If you'll excuse me, there are matters which require my attention. Oh, and should you come across any spheres of Spear's past, please do let us know. My lady? Ooh. <laughs> so, what do you think? What? Pain? I think I've heard enough. What now? I am incredibly indecisive today. I think I'm actually going to uh, head to. Ooh, you know what? No, never mind. I'm going to stick with the original plan. I'm going to head to Mount Gag. Is that really quick? And then I'm going to do Beaconel before Makalania. I was just thinking to myself, there's really no point in going to Gag. Is that now? I can just, you know shimmy over to Makalania like literally from the high bridge right now I don't even have to use the airship because there was no point I wasn't going to get any more levels but that's not true because I still have that mission in Beacon L, so I can level up a little bit there
So we're already 20 minutes in. We'll probably be 25 by the time I get through this. I think the Makalania mission is going to take a bit, so that'll be good. That'll fill up another video. The Ronso still live here on Mount Gagazet. Kimari is their elder now, and he's working hard to unite his people. Still, it seems much quieter here than it used to be. Maybe because summoners no longer come here to climb the sacred mountain. Kimari! Yuna look well. Kimari glad. How you been, Kamari? What's it like being an elder? Elder's job difficult. Kimari troubled. Elder, Leon and Aid not here. Children have left Mountain, gone to search for Elder's horn. What's going on? Leon and Aid still pups, but bear Ronso future. Say they search for a way to fix Kimari's broken horn. If Kimari act like true elder, these things not happen. Maybe so. Kimari? I summon a Yuna, it is Garrick's honor. Nice to meet you. Garrick, no Yuna saved Spira, but Ronso not saved yet. Um... Huh? Kimari worried about Li- If Yuna find Leon- Not even five minutes. So we've got Bikinel, Makalania, and then we're into the hot spots. The thing about the hot spots is that they take a little bit longer too because there's cutscenes everywhere. There's actually quite a bit for uh, B Sade. And I'm going to want to do some leveling and some. PR stuff before I actually start the hot spots. Bicanel Island. This is where the All Beds beloved home stood until two years ago. Most have moved on, but a handful of all beds still live here today. They say countless machina lie buried under the desert sands. Leave the trailblazing to me! Um, I don't think that sand dune used to be there. Consumes all. It's all in the wrist. Dance, 
Zoom's off. attention when I learned liquid steel because I wanted to jump straight down to armor break after that but oh well Riku, you do know the way, right? Uh, Riku, are we in trouble? <laughs> I love how she doesn't actually acknowledge either of their questions. Make it on your sector. Hot down, could I'm dropping off. Dropping off, push, for Dekush and Drana. to move the camp to escape a sandstorm. We could have looked forever and never found it. So Riku is apparently in the ballpark or in the right area. Sounds like there's a big sandstorm coming in. Mm, it's probably too big for the airship to handle. I guess we won't be leaving the way we came. Her excuse is that they moved the entire camp, as opposed to her just not knowing where it was. Pretty sure you have to talk to everybody here. Well, try to talk to everybody, I should say. Save my money for all of a walk as BS.
I kudunst, i rida kudunst. I'm busy, so make it fast, okay? I've got lots to excavate and no one to do it. Yuni, show her Gippo's letter. Oh, so you're the new guys. That's us. Nice to meet you. Hmm, I guess the High Summoner's hard up too. Well, don't be expecting any special treatment. Right. Let's get to it then. Here's where we are. And here is where you're headed. Ah, oh, but it's so far. We'll send you out there by hover. Go talk to the pilot about it. So we're just doing a single dig, obviously. This is pretty much what the entire Beacon All Desert little side quest is gonna be. Part this time, usually I just end up getting scrap metal. Leave it to me. Oopsies. Definitely want to go for the killer hound. He's got that KO fang. There we go. Crap, I should have just went for it. <laughs> Figures that would happen. At least it looks like you earned some decent experience out here. Just what we needed. You're good. What'd you expect? Mm, don't let it go to your head. But you did do a good job. Here, your reward. Yes! Thank you. They make it sound like there's actually some money in digging. I'm sure there are ways to actually get raises and whatnot, but I'm terrible at doing that stupid uh, quiz or whatever it is. So we've got Silence and Blind now, Sleep and Bio, Fire Eater. Cure and SOS Protect. So I'm starting to build something of a. Uh... Come back anytime you like. We'll be here. So glad you told me that. I'm starting to build a stock of Garmin grids, which is good. I can actually start shifting some stuff around.
It's been two years since the faith in Makalania Temple disappeared. They say it's affecting not only the lake, but the woods as well. Words will soon be no more. Okay, I don't think that actually went through. Uh, I just said hopefully this area doesn't take too long. We've only got about 20 minutes left. Pretty sure I had to go and talk to somebody over here. has come faster than I thought. <laughs> what can we do? Mm -hmm. I'll be there in two shakes. And I suppose if this video does run long, I'll just, uh, I'll cut it wherever I cut it and then we'll keep going. Although I really don't want to have to do that because... Sorry, my microphone's getting uh, cutty again. What I was trying to say was I want to get some training in before I end up... Uh ...starting the hotspots there, and I'm not going to be able to do that if I have to start the new video with the content from here. Ooh, I do have to go remember to talk to Trommel too. Get my uh, special dress sphere. Okay, so she's got black magic level 3 now, which is pretty awesome. Now all she has to learn is her, uh, or the rest of her spells, I should say. Get wet. Oh, that was a waste. place to train if you can survive because you can get off nice work. quite a few attacks. But there's the whole if you can survive thing that kind of uh, makes things just a little difficult. Leave 
Leave it to me. I'm having terrible flashbacks to the uh, butterfly challenge. Nature's wrath, strike my foe. Man, Yuna cannot catch a break here. It's like I said before though, I've got so many potions it doesn't even matter anymore. I actually didn't mind the uh, butterfly challenges. Grow lonely day by day. I actually have to think about which way I was supposed to keep moving. That was kind of weird. I was worried I was going to go the wrong way and just end up backtracking the way I kind of tried to skip right there. I summon a Yuna. Forgive me for the grief I have caused you. How have you been? Well, with Lord Seymour gone, we Guado are hardly different from the dead. Huh. Many Ronso lost their lives at the hands of Lord Seymour. Those who survived swore vengeance for their fallen comrades. We Guado sealed ourselves away in Guado Salam and strengthened our defenses. But soon we no longer had the strength for even this. Now we live among the shadows of these woods. Trammel? Hi, Samana. Do not trouble yourself to show sympathy for the Guado. We once walked willingly with Lord Seymour, never questioning, even as he led all Spira into madness. Lady Yuna, I cannot ask that you forgive us, only that you forget us. Trauma. Ah, oh, well. What brings the High Summoner to these woods? Well, I'm a Sphere Hunter now. Hmm. A Sphere Hunter? We, uh, hunt spheres. You don't say. Well then, uh, please allow me to give you this. It is of no use to us. Score! Thank you! So that's my first special dress sphere, the only one I can actually get on this disc, and the only one that's also missable if you don't do it in chapter one or two. I definitely, the first couple times I played through this game, I definitely didn't uh, get 
that didn't know where it was the other two you got automatically so I just assumed I'd get pains automatically too and then there we are in chapter 5 and I still don't have it Alright, so we will get this mission started. A walk on the 23rd! Where are you? So I think next video, part four, because I just realized I haven't actually told you guys anything about the first few playthroughs that I had with this game. Hi there. It's always nice to get nostalgic, so I'll probably get into that a little bit. One one thousand. I'm gonna escape from this guy just in the hopes that I can maybe get another uh, oversoul out of him. Yep, and just like that. You know what? I'll probably run away from that guy too. time I don't want fights. Like there's tons of them here. This will only take two rounds. Give me one. Ah! The reason I'm running away from these guys is I I want to finish this video. Or I want to finish this mission on this video. Anywho, when we hit up the hot spots, maybe I'll start getting a little nostalgic on you guys. And oh, this one should be pretty quick. Hello. One of the things I mentioned in my original Final Fantasy X HD Remaster one there is uh, this was actually I played Final Fantasy X two before I played ten. Oh goodness!
Oh my goodness. Well, well, well. The uh, encounter rate seems to have really cranked up now that I've uh, now that I'm chasing a waka. Maybe it was just that area. Because I kind of jumped and took a shortcut there. So, who knows. At least I'm actually making use of Flea. It's kind of a skill that I don't use very often. Usually it's actually quicker just to scan or just to uh, slide through the menu and have all three people escape normally. Okay, well I should make it. So for those of you that have perchance played Xenosaga Episode 2, uh, I'll be uploading episodes one and two Bring it, at punk. some point, not too far away. I assume not too far away from these uploads, actually, because I've actually I finished episode one entirely, and I've kind of halfway through episode two already. But that point's irrelevant. What uh, is a little bit more relevant is the fact that. Uh, for those of you that have played it, there's a debt quest there too. Well, in this quest, Owaka's debt here is going to be 100,000 gil. Which in the grand scheme of things is very doable. Without too much uh, additional stress, we'll call it. In that game, it's... What is it? 10 million, I think? 10 million gold. And... It's incredibly difficult to do there's actually different farming <laughs> tricks for you to get the items that me. can pay it off properly because it's just that side. rough i bought the travel agency from mr rin but then the temple nearby sank to the bottom of the lake and business sank with it just my luck now the albed have come to collect and are not in a mood for excuses think ye could give old a waka a place to lay low, hmm? For a while? I'll find a way to make it up to ye, I promise. What do you think? Sounds like he's in trouble. Thank you. All right, there we go. So we've got the Ice Queen, so we've got two Elemental uh, absorbing garment grids that we can use somewhat strategically. Emphasis on the somewhat because it's not uh, quite as clear cut when enemies are going to be using certain elements. But sometimes it helps. So I'm going to head back. I'm going to save. And then I'm going to go and do a bunch of PR stuff. I'm going to do a little bit of leveling along the way. I haven't saved in like two hours. That's probably not healthy given the fact that I just got a bunch of uh, KOs in that last area we were just in. So yeah, I'm currently at level 12-ish. We'll see when I'm at later when I come back. We will tackle the hot spots and hopefully finish chapter one. We'll definitely finish before the end of part five. But there's no real strategy going into it, just whatever can fit in a video. So yeah, we'll see. I hope to see you guys there. Part four will come first obviously. We'll hit uh I think we'll hit Besaid first. Pick up the white mage. 
and go from there. So I hope to see you guys there.